NASA has been teasing big news when it comes to space exploration. And yesterday at 4 p.m., they held a press conference. And if you were waiting for an announcement that life on another planet had been found, if you were waiting for an announcement that we figured out a way to uh, travel to distant galaxies, that was not the announcement. But the announcement was still very, very interesting. And the announcement is that both Boeing and SpaceX have been awarded contracts to become NASA space taxis, and they will be shuttling astronauts to and from the International Space Station. Each company has been granted a contract. Remember that NASA ended the space shuttle program back in 2011 after they decided to review and kind of shift their priorities to exploring deep space, including potentially sending humans to Mars. But now they still need a way to get astronauts to that space station. And more recently, NASA astronauts have been hitching a ride on the Russian Soyuz spacecraft at a cost of 70 million dollars per seat, according to a NASA spokesperson. These new contracts are worth almost seven billion dollars. Boeing's share is four point two billion. SpaceX is two point six billion. Of course, both companies crafts will be extensively safety tested by NASA. I find this very, very interesting. You know, I think that it is truly one of the best investments we can make right now to be investing in, in space travel. And it is not just because I think that we may find out very interesting things that we will push science forward in a significant way. It is not only because these contracts, this exploration is significant economic stimulus, but it's really because when I step back and I think if we work together as humans to explore the distant reaches of the universe. And really, right now, we don't have the capability to explore the distant reaches. It would be, uh, really speaking, only the uh, uh, close reaches. Aren't we going to realize that a lot of the petty discussions and arguments that we have amongst ourselves within the United States, amongst ourselves in terms of between countries, that they are really moot and irrelevant when we think about the grandeur and uh, vastness of space. Maybe I'm wrong about this. Maybe it will only lead to uh, wars over who owns what in outer space. And that would truly be sad. But I have, you know, I'm pretty skeptical as people who watch this show know I'm pretty skeptical and cynical when it comes to uh, uh, the future in, in many ways, just because of what we've seen happen over the last uh, several thousand years on our planet. Uh, but for some reason, I still maintain this optimism that if we can really work together and see that we are just this tiny piece of a, an incredibly vast universe, I like to think that it would further human cooperation that would go beyond race, religion, imaginary lines separating so-called countries, which are, of course, complete human constructions. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I like to think that that would be the case. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash dpackman and give us a like on Facebook, facebook.com slash David Pakman Show. We have a fantastic program planned for you today.